Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The United States has always hoped to restrict the development of Chinese chips through a chip ban. After all, the United States now has excellent influence and technology accumulation in the field of chip semiconductors. Naturally, the United States does not want new competitors to emerge. But there is no doubt that many foreign media now believe that the U.S. chip ban has lost its meaning. Today, China chip is not only developing rapidly in the field of traditional silicon-based chips, but also has achieved outstanding results in many fields such as quantum chips, photonic chips, and new material chips. There is even news recently that China may be able to change lanes and overtake in the new chip track field. Just recently, CCTV reported another major technological breakthrough in China's chip semiconductor field. According to CCTV's report, China's scientific research team successfully developed third-generation glass perforation technology. Although judging from the name alone, this technology does not have much connection with the chip industry chain, it is actually an advanced technology among new wafer materials. According to Zhang Jiahua, a professor at the University of Electronic Science and Technology of China, this is an important technology in the field of glass wafers. It can punch millions of uniform holes on a glass wafer that is only the size of a fingernail and then form these holes. Circuit Pattern Judging from the information disclosed so far, chips produced by this technology can not only effectively improve chip performance, but also reduce manufacturing costs by about half compared with silicon-based wafer chips. There is no doubt that although the current glass silicon-based chips are not yet perfect in terms of related technologies and industrial chain development, there are still many technical problems that need to be solved, and it will also take a certain amount of time to complete large-scale mass production and commercial applications. However, Judging from the manufacturing difficulty, cost and performance of this chip, the possibility of this chip being replaced is actually not low. This also means that glass wafer chips may actually become one of the mainstreams in the field of semiconductor chips in the future, and China chip can also take this opportunity to complete changing lanes and overtaking. The chips that are being used on a large scale today are silicon-based chips. The development of this kind of chips is relatively early. Today's various technologies are sufficient and the production capacity is very large. However, this kind of silicon-based chip actually has a big shortcoming, that is, technological development has basically come to an end. Previously, there was a Moore's law in the field of chip semiconductors, which roughly means that every year, the performance of the chip will double, but the energy cost of the chip will be reduced by half. But now that Moore's law has expired, it can be said that it is becoming more and more difficult for advanced chips to break through. 
The United States has a considerable first-mover advantage in the field of traditional silicon-based chips and can even affect the global chip supply chain. It is through this influence that the United States modifies chip rules and restricts chip shipments. But now many chip manufacturers and research institutes have actually begun to research new chips. There are many new types of chips, such as what China usually calls photonic chips and quantum chips. This is actually a new field that is quite different from today's traditional silicon-based chips. In the fields of photonic chips and quantum chips, China's development can be said to be very rapid. Many American scientists in the field of quantum technology have even said that U.S. research in the field of quantum chips is inseparable from China's research results. In fact, these are not the only types of emerging chips currently being developed. Some new material chips are also making breakthroughs. For example, China has completed a breakthrough in core technology this time with glass wafer chips, as well as new chips using graphite materials, carbon-based materials and other new chips. Today, the pattern of the chip industry chain is constantly changing and the development of traditional silicon-based chips is gradually coming to an end. It is quite difficult to catch up in the field of traditional silicon-based chips. However, China's chip industry chain is adopting a walking on two legs approach and has successively made breakthroughs in many emerging chip fields. It can be said that it has achieved very good results. Is expected to complete corner overtaking. If you agree, please like it, welcome to repost, leave a message and share it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any ideas about this video, please feel free to let me know.